as well. But for now, on to an artist who specializes in organic contemporary sculpture. Sylvia Krupinska joins us now in the studio. A very good afternoon to you, Sylvia. How are you? Good afternoon. Hello. Fine. Thank you very much for now, having me. Sylvia, what is organic contemporary sculpture in? You can say, or I can describe it in one word or two words, texture sculpture or nature texture sculpture. And everything that... I love textures, so anything to do with from the bottom of the sea textures or, or hair textures, skin, all those textures I'm trying to develop and translate into the way I see them and into my sculptures and paintings. Okay, so it's organic because it's natural? Yes. Okay, that's where the word organic comes from. So now out of all the art forms, what attracted you to sculpture in? Uh, the fact that I can get in, stuck in, right in there with my fingers. <laughs> and it's like baking, you know, making art and sculpture in particular. You can use cement, which I do, and you can use paint and you can mix it all up, for, um, plaster, um, that, because I can get right into it. I, I don't like to, well, yes, I lose, use lots of tools as well, but uh, it's direct contact with the material is something that I really like. And you started off as a painter, did you? I did. I studied a paint, well, fine art, which was specialised in painting. But uh, throughout my degree, it kind of developed into a sculpture. And then I finished with my degree show with the sculpture piece there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, when, when people talk about 3D painting, is that effectively sculpturing? Yes, it is. But with also a huge element of it is the painting, like the surface of painting on top of the sculpture, for instance. Mm -hmm. And I know that you're from Slovakia. Yes, that's right. So do you bring elements of Slovakia into your artwork? Uh, occasionally, not so much anymore, unfortunately. But um, when I did a sculpture in uh, Aust Austria, it was a land art piece. And that was looking more more like the mountains I grew up on, the, the high Tatras. Mm. <laughs> like the peak of the, the, the sculpture looks a bit like the mountain region. <laughs> So, you know, when you started your, your sculpturing, yes. um, I, I'm just trying to understand why, you know, where the organics came from. Because you know, when you talk about you like to get your hands into your material, it reminds me of a child. You know, when the child's playing <laughs> in sand or child's, child's playing in water. And I, and I just wonder, you know, did you have like childhood memories while you're doing your work? Mm, not so much. No. Well, I'm always a child <laughs> and always will be. There's nothing that can change that. But uh, um it's also seeing the ways of new new approaches and developing my own technique is something that excites me, like casting grapes into plaster and then digging them out to get the textures or like things I haven't seen before. I, I used to use a plasticine as well. Um, just, just really exploring everything there is and I'm not afraid of using uh, the simplest materials or, mm. or, or metal as well, you know, so... Did you say you're casting grapes? Yes, yes, the fruit grapes. yes, that's right. And, and then and doing what with them? Uh, then digging it out as uh, imagine the egg-shaped plaster mm -hmm. ball. Yes. Inside there are there are maybe a dozen of even more twenty pieces of grapes. Right. And then I get my tool and then try to dig it all out mm. carefully. So I. I retain the texture of the sculpture. Right. Then, if you if you if you sort of lift it again the against the light, you can see the the, so the tunneling effect that that creates. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, I mean, we talk about organic materials, but I know you use a wide range of materials, including hair. Yes, that I used. I did uh, a series of. Well, last year I had a, a sort of a season of hair, <laughs> uh, which I I bought synthetic hair and, and I had some uh, human hair as well, mm. which I stuck onto uh, the boards and cement again and painted painted as well. I did an installation piece um, straight on the wall that I stuck like lots of hair and it was hanging. It was it was all white. Not not. I tried to kind of. Re keep it safe and go for with white or dark, not too much colour. Mm. Um, and it created this kind of like a seed floating in the air effect mm. and, and again, different texture and the 3D effect of painting or sculpture, you, you should say. <laughs> <laughs>
And you mentioned you had some human hair. So who's, whose hair were you borrowing? What, well, borrowing? Co- commonly, you can buy it for in, in hair right. shops. Okay. From, so, okay. I thought uh, maybe you were going about chopping your friend's hair. Or <laughs> um, that, that didn't go that far. But uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I mentioned that earlier. Also, I think my friend in, uh, in Austria, he suggested... Uh, well, I shouldn't really mention it. It was like... Yeah. <laughs> Don't mention it. No. Mention it. <laughs> to, to get hold of dead people's hair. Oh, dear. Oh, no, yeah. I understand why you didn't want to mention that. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. <laughs> but um, I have to ask now, did you get... No, 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 okay. no, no, no. That's right. too far. <laughs> and you also use recycled objects as well. Yes, indeed. Right. Yeah, the tennis balls is the biggest hit at the moment mm-hmm. in my sculpture. <laughs> I got hold of uh, 215 tennis balls and created three sculptures out of them, uh, which I called the, the moon the moon transitions: green, red, and the yellow one, which is in the window at the moment in my gallery. Uh-huh. Okay, and and what type of sculptures did you create? Uh, I created texture sculptures again 3d painting sculptures well hanging could be hanging wall sculptures or they could be also standing on an easel they look like sometimes you can see the corally effect in them sometimes you can see the texture of the moon in them i was inspired by the surfaces of moon and from the bottom of the sea mm-hmm. and then again the 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 uh, uh skin if you under the microscope sort of skin effect and mm-hmm. things like that <laughs> And you mentioned your gallery. Where is your gallery? It's in Notting Hill. Uh, it's called Debut Contemporary. Mm-hmm. Debut Contemporary. Yes. Okay, where in Notting Hill? In Notting Hill. Uh, one second, I've got the full address here. <laughs> yeah. uh, on Westbourne Grove, oh, yes. 82 Westbourne Grove. Oh, yes. yes, okay. Now let's talk about some more materials that you use. I understand that you've even used your skin as a part as a piece of artwork that yes that's supposed to be a secret for my forthcoming event in oh, october the secret's out now <laughs> well that's why i'm here and <laughs> that's how secrets get broken <laughs> <laughs> yes an unfortunate event of my sunburn in portugal on my last holiday led me to uh, an inspiration to create the the new piece which I did, which is called Skinny Fly Krupinskus Redulus Armonus, which means <laughs> basically is a, is, a, is a form of a bee fly, a drawing of a bee fly with the wings that are made from my skin, the peeling sunburnt skin. <laughs> And where did you get the inspiration to to use your skin? Nowhere. I just, it just it just it was there. Like as soon as you pick it up, and it's like, oh my god, the wings, and put it in the envelope. And I thought, oh my god, yeah, I know, organic. <laughs> How about toenails? Have you used any toenails? No, no, no. That's again. No. You, there is a board. You know, you've got to be really careful how you present these works because. Mm-hmm. It's got to be a bit intriguing as well. You don't want people to go, oh, I don't like it. There's got to be a different element to it as well. So that's why I've uh, got to be really careful. And, and, and you don't think that people might say, oh, when they realise that it's your skin that's peeled on that work. That's fine. It's okay. It creates a, uh, a conversation about sunburn and, and perhaps uh, even deeper than that, what what the danger of sunburn yes, and yes. it can and create a disca- cancer, exactly yeah? Yeah. Okay. so uh, i'm hoping to um, i'm trying to sort of approach different charities and maybe to, uh, learn something from it as well and ask oh, them to maybe good. help out with promoting the, the the cause and maybe raise some money for them we'll see how very that goes good, very yeah. good and so so when where would that be actually on on display um the event uh, which is on the 15th of october the saturday of the 15th of october is in debut contemporary in notting hill it starts at 12 till 5 yeah. okay when on october sorry 15th 15th of october and that's when we can see your sunburnt skin yes yes, yes yeah. i'm working uh, on this piece i'm working uh, collaboratively with jennifer farmer uh, oh, she's yes. a writer and she She's going to write a piece about the skinny fly and do a voiceover. But it's a very early stage. I don't want to give away too much, but it should be quite exciting. Oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so, so we can see your works, obviously, at Debut Contemporary. Yes. Yes, which is Notting Hill. And how do you have a website? Yes, my website is www.sylviakrupinska.com, which is S-I-L-V-I-A-K-R-U-P-N-S-K-A.com. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Sylvia, thank you so much for popping in to talk to us about organic contemporary sculpture. 
And um, I look forward to seeing one of your sculptures. I'll be like, what has she used? What piece of organ? <laughs> you might go as far as using the, using the organ. You don't know, do no, you? No, no, no. <laughs> well, if, if someone, if the if your listeners want to have a chat with me before my event, they can pop in to debut this Saturday for, for a tea party with Buddha. Oh, cool. Yeah. From what time? Uh, 12 to 5 again, by artist Agneta Sjogaren, my oh, friend. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. You have to go and see the lady behind this organic contem <laughs> contemporary sculpture. Sylvia, thank you so much again. Pleasure. Thank you. Okay, Emerson Ford will be here very, very shortly to talk about films, 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 and also to give something.